complexity around a lot of this is how do you create templates that are agnostic to the systems they use under the hood, whether it's a database or data warehouse, et cetera, um, and don't hold sensitive data. You can't start sharing actual SQL queries if they store any proprietary data, let alone if they're tied to any fields or things that matter to you and only you. So being able to abstract that at a higher level, whether it's entities and relationships or templated frameworks, but not the actual intricacies, I think that's the part that can be, whether it's open source or closed source, but available to everyone. And then when you start getting into us as an organization, what are the fields we care about and the names we care about and the fields that we want to obfuscate or hash along the way, that's the part that has to be proprietary to us when we share it along, along lines of different business units or people. But so much of the, the framework around this should be accessible and shareable and um, we should be able to learn from other companies around, hey, how many e-commerce companies are there? Let's say thousands. Every one of them is trying to figure out how do orders relate to returns, relate to shipments. That shouldn't be the case. There should be a templated structure for like enterprise data model for a five person e-commerce company, but five different options if you're a 30 person company. And then if you're a massive enterprise, here are the other considerations you might want to incorporate into your data model. Those aren't that different. They're all pretty standard. Um, when it comes to best practices. So that, that's the part to me where there's a ton of opportunity to create value.